Hi, in this video for the ZSK machine and the T8 controller, we're going to talk about some modification options that we can use uh, in editing our designs. The T8 does have an onboard editor, and um, one of the functions that we will use quite often is the modification. You can modify the design as you're bringing it in, but let's say we forgot and we need to go back in, or we do need to make a change. We can go to the editor and make this change. In order to get to the editor on the T8 controller, we would go to the editor function, which is L5. So I will hit I and L5, and you can see it says editor. So we simply press editor, and now we can go in and choose the design that we would like to edit. Um, if we are on a design in the control panel, we can't choose that design. So it's always good to be exited out of any design, have no design up on screen to get into the controller and the memory. Um, I would like to select my design, but I'm not sure which one, so I'll choose the pictogram, which is U1, and I can go in here and I can see my designs. If I'd like to choose a design, I will arrow over. Um, now I have a red frame around my design, and that's the one that I want to change. I'll go ahead and select it. Once I select it, I'm in the editor, um, but I do want to go and modify it. And right here, R4, the flower with the little wrench, I um, just I hit I and then uh, I click on that and it tells me what button it was, edit design, click on that and now I have the option to modify it. Modify, when I click on modify it allows me to change the height or the width by percentage. So if I do want to change the height 10% up or 10% down, um, all I would have to do is click on that. Now I'm, uh, now I have the the numbers highlighted, if I'd like to go up 10%, I would type in 110. If I would like to go down 10%, then I would type in 90. You can see here my pink, um, my pink outline of the P, that will show me the change. If I also want to do the width, I would go ahead and press the width, type in 110. You can see it gets a little bit bigger as well. The next function is the satin stitch. This is according to the satin stitches that you do have in the design. The T8 will detect that, and if I click on satin stitch, I can do the overall satin stitch height and width by percentage just by clicking that. Again, it will go ahead and highlight my number. I can type in the new number should I need to increase it or decrease it. I'll go ahead and deselect that and turn that off. The next thing is the stitch height and width according to increments up to a certain size. Now increments, if we think of increments in millimeters, five increments is equal to 0.5 millimeters or half a millimeter. So if I need to increase my stitching, maybe my satin stitching, maybe a half a millimeter, I would go ahead and select this, hit the plus sign because I want to go up, I would hit zero through nine, and then choose five. That means I would go up half a millimeter. If I want to go up one millimeter, I would choose 10. That would be one millimeter. So um, if I do that for the height and the width, you know, I can go ahead and select here. I can also do the plus zero through nine. I want to do 10, so another millimeter up to 12.7 millimeters. Now you do have to make sure you do hit the confirm button to confirm these settings. If you do hit previous, it will cancel that out. So I'll just go ahead and confirm that. The next thing is our angle. That is if we want to rotate the design. Uh, usually when we are doing caps, we want to rotate it 180. So I click on angle and I'll go ahead and type in 180. You can see that P rotate. That's kind of the new design. It's showing you the d new uh, orientation of the design. Um, I can really rotate it to any angle I want. Um, the maximum stitch length, I can change that. Typically, we leave it at about 127, 12.7 uh, millimeters. If you do want to lower it, you can, uh, you can change that. Uh, the mirroring, if you'd like to mirror your design, you can certainly do that just by selecting it. Now, if I hit modify, that will keep all those changes. If I hit the previous button, again, it will cancel those changes out. So I'm not going to mirror it. I just have it rotated. I sized it a little bit. I also changed the satin stitch. I needed a little bit more satin stitch. So I hit modify. When I do hit modify, it's going through. And I'm back to my editor. This time we are going to get out of the editor because that's all I want to change. 
I hit the exit button here. And now I have the option to overwrite the design by uh, clicking store design. It's asking me, do I want to really overwrite? If I hit store design, I then will overwrite it. If I'd like to find a free design number or a new slot, I can certainly select this. If I want to find a free design version, meaning that this will change from Z01 to something like Z02 or Z03, which is a different version, but the design number is the same. So let's say I'm doing this one for a cap. Um, I'm going to do free design version. And you can see it's got Z02. I can also change the design name if I'd like. If I'd like to maybe add a UD for upside down, I could click on design name. I'm going to go ahead and arrow over here. And I'm just going to type in UD for upside down. I'll go ahead and hit OK here. And I will store that design. And after I've stored it, now I can go and load that design from my um, internal memory. You can see here's the right side up one, and here's the upside down. You can also see right down here underneath my pictograms, there's the new design version and new design name. So that's how I would go in and modify that design. Um, I'll go ahead and select it. Now it brings it right into my screen and I'm ready to sew. So for other editing options, please watch our other videos um, on the TA Editor. Thank you.